Hey, my name is Lukas and today I want to give you a quick tutorial how to create and deploy a Nuxt 3 application using Docker. So let's get started creating our Nuxt application. I will run npm create Nuxt and I will give it a name and call this one demo. So let's use npm as a package manager. I know it's fetching all of the dependencies that are needed for Nuxt to run. And this is going to take a minute or two. So let's quickly wait for that to finish. All right, the installation has finished. I will click uh, yes, I do want to initialize a repository and I don't need any of these additional modules. So I just hit enter in order to continue. Now we can cd into our demo directory and I can run npm run dev in order to start a development server. And as you can see, Nuxt is listening on localhost 3000. So let's quickly check in our browser if the application is running. In the browser, I will go to the URL localhost 3000. And as you can see, the Nuxt application is running and it's looking great. Next up, we will package the application in a Docker container. And I will show you how to do so now. So let's go to, root, to the root directory of the project, create a new file and name this one docker file. Every docker file starts from a base image. So we will use the from instruction and I will type node 20-alpine in order to define this base image. And you can think of it as a clean Linux machine that already has Node.js version 23 installed. Next up, we will define a work directory for our application and we will name this one slash app. You can choose any directory. You can also go nested and say slash app slash nuxt or basically whatever you want, but um, we will go with slash app right here. So every subsequent command will be executed in this work directory. I can run copy package JSON, package log.json, and then I write this dot, and this will copy the package JSON from our um, root directory into this work directory over here. And then I will run the npm install command, and I will copy all of the other files inside of the root directory into our app directory. Now you might be wondering why not copy everything into the image and then run the npm install command. And this has something to do with the way Docker caches layers, because think of each of these instructions as a different layer and Docker caches all of these layers. And when you run the Docker build, Docker will go through each of these layers and they will check, did something change in my base image? No use the cache. Did something change in my work directory? No, use the cache. Did something change with the dependencies? No, use the cache. And only if the source code changes, then it will pull all of these previous layers from the cache and only run subsequent commands from where changes happened. So the order of operations is very important here and it can significantly speed up the build. Next up, we will run npm run build. I will expose port 3000 and then we will fire up the application using node dot output slash server slash index dot mjs. So we do have a working docker file right here but there's one optimization that we can do. We can make use of multi-stage builds. Right after the build command, I will introduce a new stage and we will use node 20-alpine. I need to tag my previous stage as build and my current stage as prod. And then what we are going to do is we will define a work directory in our new stage and we will copy from the build, this is not correct, we will copy our slash app slash dot output folder 
and we will copy it to our current work directory. So all of these steps are happening and the result is the output folder. And that's all that we care about. And we don't care about any other node modules or dev dependencies or whatever we have copied in here. Um, that's all stuff that we don't even need in our production image. So we will just uh, start from a clean plate right here. We will copy from the build stage the output folder and we will plug it in into our prod file. And this significantly brings down image size and again speeds up our deployments. Okay, let's quickly test our Docker file and see if it's running. I will use the docker build command. We will tag our image and uh, say demo. And I will hit enter in order to build the Docker file. One thing to keep in mind is that you need to have Docker desktop running on your machine in order to use uh, these Docker commands. So if this spits out an error, it's probably because Docker desktop is not running on your machine. So you can go over to uh, docker.com products docker desktop and make sure to download docker desktop for your operating system and run it on your machine before you execute any docker commands locally. We made a little mistake here in our docker file. We are copying the output folder into the work directory but we need to copy it into the output folder in the work directory. So let's quickly run our build again. All right, let's run the application. And there we go. It is listening on localhost 3000. And as you can see, the application is running, but this time it's not running directory, directly on the host, but it's running inside of this Docker container that we just spun up. So if we exit the Docker container right here, and I will refresh the page, you can see uh, the website is not running anymore. Next up, I will add all of my changes and I will create an initial commit for the changes. I will go to GitHub, create a new repository. I will name this one Next 3 demo, click on create repository. And since we already created a local repository, I will just copy this snippet down here. I will paste it in my terminal and I will run the commands in order to sync my local content with this um, remote repository. So if I refresh, you can see the content that we had locally on our machine is now in the repository. So in order to deploy this, I will head over to sliplane.io. I will sign in with my GitHub account. Then I create a new project. I will name this one Nux3 demo. Click on the project, click on deploy service. Then I need to create a server. I will choose um, Nux as a name for it, create the server. Then I click on the server, then I choose uh, deploy from repository, and then I will look for next three demo. And as you can see, it is not showing up in the list because we just created this repository and we need to grant access to Sliplane to deploy this repository first. So I will click on configure repository access. I will choose my GitHub account. And then I scroll down here to select repositories and I will search for next three demo. There it is, and I click save, and then I can refresh the list right here. And as you can see, the repository is showing up, and then I will run with the defaults here. So I will use the main branch, Dockerfile path is auto-detected. I'm not gonna mess with this advanced config right here. I do want to leave my service public because it's a website and I want to have access over the internet. No additional environment variables and no volumes. So I simply hit deploy and the deploy will be starting in a few seconds. There we go. The deploy is in progress. If I click on the service, I can see what's going on and I can see all of the settings from deploying the service. 
you can see that the deploy is live. And over here, uh, we are hooked up with a domain. And if I click on it, we can see we are live and I can access this website over the internet. Now you know how to create and deploy a Nux3 application using Docker. I hope you liked this video. If you did like it, give it a thumbs up, comment, subscribe, and I see you next time.